Hello everyone, good evening, this is Shara. Um, Elder Kate will um, come back again because um, he's having some technical issues. Thank you. All right, everybody can see me and hear me. Oh, yeah. my. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God! Yes, I thought I, yes, we see. I, I got a little scared there. I mean, I mean, you know, uh, mind you, I'm the host. I let everybody in, and next thing you know, I got frozen and kicked out. Oh, that is a lot. Not on tonight. Not this night. All this stuff going on. No. All right, everybody join. Fine. Hey, Great. Tom, how hey, how are you? Where, you? where my boy at? Oh, he had to go look, um, talk to a contractor about this house, about our house. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. So you representing tonight. This is a yeah. first. This is the first <laughs> time. <laughs> first time for everything, huh? Yes. All right, good, good, good. All right, now y'all know I can't see everybody, but um, 
And Tina, I'm going to figure that out, how to get you back in, Got how to get you into the rotation with the emails, because I got a text from you saying that you wasn't able, you're not getting the emails. All right, let's do roll call. Did y'all type your names and all of that inside the chat and put your organization in? Wait a minute. Who is Samsung SM? N986U. Your mama ain't named you that. <laughs> Who that is? All right, now if y'all ask I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna put you in. The, I'm gonna put you in the waiting room. My, my name is Indegana. I'm a second chance living. Uh... Oh, okay, okay. All right, now do you know? You look like you a little techie. You know how to put your name in so we know who you are. Okay, so let me try. Yeah. Do that for me, man. We're not we're not okay. phone cell phones. We uh we got names. Okay, sir. All right. Everybody put your name in, put where you from, put your phone number in. We are networking, connecting. You know, we we want to know one another, we want to connect with one another. Now, if you decide that you don't want to be a part of what we're doing, I get it. You know what I mean? You just a fly on the wall, that's cool. You know, but you probably won't be invited the next time, okay? Um, because we're a team. We work as a unit collectively, and uh, we're building a movement, man. We we ain't playing. What's going on, Marvin? I see you guys have to half today. What's up, uh, Keith? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I made her be seen. She's still working for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. I have to keep. Hey, what's going on? What's up? It's all good, Kat. What's happening? He finished eating. <laughs> I'm finished eating. He said. I, oh, look like he got a little niggeritis over there, too. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I better eat before all the keep starts talking about me. <laughs> all right. What's going on, Nikki Bird? Hey, Allison, Jeffrey. Yes. Samuel Hello, hey. Bong. Yeah, hi Keith. All right, Omar. Yeah. What's up, Elder Keith? It's all good, man. It is all good. I cannot complain. Blessings on blessings. Blessings on blessings. That's right. Um, do we have Lakeisha Wilson in here? Lakeisha Wilson, are you in tonight? Brian Limbig. You're a dinosaur, I could tell. Look at you trying to find the mute button. Hey. Yeah. I hear you. Hello. Good to see All you. Right. Yes, I do. I hear you. All right. Cynthia Jones out of California. I see you, Wilbur Cannon. Hi, I look here. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, oh, wow! You in the car? Yes, <laughs> I'm shaking and moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulty. I don't know. What's up? This is this is Brian. I'm on the boat in Miami, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm remotely on my phone. Okay. Okay, Brian. All right, remotely uh, on uh, your uh, phone. Uh, okay. At least invited me. I'm Alicia's partner, so I'm on the boat. I'm on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to chop it up afterwards. Uh -huh. Perfect. Alicia, are you in? What's up, Sean King? Joining now. Hey. How you doing? <sighs> I know you ain't meant to show us your feet, did you? <laughs> I can't get on this. I'm just, I can't hear me. I hear you good. I hear you. Oh, can you hey, hear me? Marilyn. Marilyn from Atlanta. How you doing? How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. So we got a couple of late people coming in as usual. Alicia's in the waiting room. Oh, she is? Uh, I already approved it. It shows joining now. There are two Alicia Howards. Okay, it's two. Okay, cool. All right, I want to thank everybody. I'm in. I'm in. 
All right, Alicia, there you go. There you go. Wonderful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, y'all. Let's uh let's let's get going now. How many people we got? 72? All right. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all. Um all right, so everybody, please mute your phones. Omar, Omar, are you here today? I know you you got an event. Omar is here live and present. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I'm always here. Uh, is April here? Your wife here? Yes, yes she is. Yeah, I'm here. We're in the same place. My oh, birthday wow. tomorrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good, Hi. good. How you doing? Fine. Happy birthday before it starts. Thank you. Okay. Marcus Redden, you're looking good, bro. What's up, Keith? How you doing? It's all good. Hey, Dana. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hey, Patrick. Steve Dormian, Cedric Gant. Okay, I'm seeing everybody. Louis Eli. Hello, how you doing? All right. What's Sandra, going on, Keith? It's all good. Hey, Sandra, you in your car, I can tell. All right, now y'all know Kwaku, what's going on, man? Good to see you. All right, okay, it's, it's time, man. We finna open this up in prayer. Father, we thank you for this gracious opportunity to come before you once more. We pray, Father, that you would cover this whole coalition. We pray that you would download your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may be able to walk according to your will and purpose. I pray, Father, that you will continue to provide provision for the vision. And I seal this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Okay. Amen. So Amen. Um, I am uh, ecstatic. I'm, I'm excited about everything that's going on. Um, we finally got some positive movement. And I want to share some things with you guys. Uh, give me one second. What's up, Ashanti? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And uh, let me, let me, uh, hold on one second. I don't know, my, my computer really is acting up, man. Literally. Working fine all day. I have to open this up. Oh, here we go. Mary Witherspoon, what's going on? Okay. How you doing? Well, it's all good. Good over here. All right. Charlie Butler, where you at? I cannot see everybody. Right. Uh, my computer is really, really moving slow, man. I can't even get to my screen, y'all. Oh, wow. Don't tell me that. Diamond, are you in? Diamond and Yusuf. I need some help. John Wilkes, wow. It's just the enemy raising his ugly head, man. That's all. That's man. all, man. I'm serious. I cannot open up my screen. All right. Let me try something here. Let me try something else. Elder Keith, it's Beverly. If you want to forward to me whatever it is you're opening up, I can play it no, on my it's not. Can... It's not that. It's just my screen. Uh, there my... it goes. Yeah, Let's there start, it is. Um, has started sharing now. Okay. It's all good now, Elder Keith. All right. So I got control of the screen? Yes, sir. All right. Cool. I just cannot believe that all of a sudden my screen just went crazy.
All right. In the meantime, in between time, I am going. Uh, Miss Prescott, are you on tonight? Yes, I'm here. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for showing thank up. Thank you for inviting me. You're very welcome. You're very, very welcome. You're very, very welcome. All right. Now, my, I'm serious, y'all. My screen really, 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 like, I can't even, it ain't even y'all. It's me. It's this thing, man. I don't know. I don't know. And where's Diamond and Joe? Where my backup, man? Where my presenters? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-uh, no, I can't believe this. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe it, y'all. Look at this. Okay, all right, let me, let me do this. I that can't means you're on the right track. That means you're on the right track. <laughs> Got to be, man. Got to be doing something right, huh? Wow, I can't believe it. Mm -mm. Man, I am honestly flabbergasted by this whole thing. Okay. Now. Might help now. Okay. All right, share screen, boom. It's not everything plead that I'm talking about here, but- Plead the blood, brother, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. We can see it now, sir. Okay, it's not what I'm trying to show though. Uh, this is the last presentation here. All right, let me try and look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, can y'all see this? Is this a little better? All right, can I get a thumbs up for everybody that can yes. see the screen? Yes, yes. I know that a lot of y'all are on your, your cell phone. Yes. For some reason, I'm trying to get it in Word doc, but it's not, it's not allowing me to. All right, so um, for everybody that's new, and for everybody that's old, I'm giving y'all a refresher on what this whole coalition is about. The whole mission, the vision and everything. I was really trying to pull up my PowerPoint presentation so y'all could see it and, and be able to read it. Um, but we come together to not compete, but to collaborate so that we can effectively uh, pool our resources and be able to help this vulnerable population of people that we're serving, whether it's veterans, ex-offenders, sober living, children aged out of foster care, women and children, doesn't matter, even the elderly. Um, the mission and goal behind everything that we're doing is so that we can effectively plug the holes up because the system in transitional housing and halfway housing is so broken. And God gave me this vision while I was sitting in jail after being arrested for uh, being caught up in a $20 billion, uh, probably the largest Medicare fraud scam scheme in, in America at that time, um, after I had got caught up in that. And while I was sitting in jail, the Lord just revealed to me something that I needed to do because I knew that I had, I was very unusual. My program probably was one of the, the most pro prosperous program. Um, I started out with one house. I ended up with uh, 248 beds uh, in three different states. I was the largest thing in, in North America at that particular time ran by a single person, me, an ex-offender. And the programs that I put together was so, I don't know, so innovative and progressive 
um, that, you know, I decided that, you know, let me go ahead and teach other people to do this. Because ain't nobody, what at that point, even when I came out of prison, there was nobody literally coaching people one-on-one -on -one and how to open up a halfway house. So I know y'all could testify, y'all researched and everything. There's not, and, and even at that time, when I started in 2013, I looked on YouTube, I searched everywhere. There was absolutely nobody doing what I'm doing. Now, when you research, there's a whole lot of people that are trying to do it. They're doing it. Um, but I think that we have the number one program. My mission and vision is to bring everybody under one umbrella. Not that your program will be a, a franchise, but you'll be autonomous, but utilizing the same processes and system that I developed. And being able to have the capital, y'all, y'all catch that word, being able to have the capital to effectively build it out the right way. And what I simply mean by that is being able to buy the property, being able to buy this, you know, hire the staff, being able to, to uh, even acquire like apartment buildings for them when they leave your housing program, when they leave your treatment program and go into an affordable housing complex. Even further than that, even being able to provide low income uh, uh, down payment money to buy their homes. So that's the whole mission and vision. And that's where we at with this. And so we've been uh, fortunate enough to meet Miss Millie Smith, somebody that <laughs> that um, we've, been <laughs> we've been having a, a rough patch with at, at some points, but a blessing in disguise, you know? Um, but we've been pre-approved for over $30 billion. And I wish I had my team on here that can, that know the numbers, uh, can give us the accurate numbers like Diamond. Diamond and Yusuf, seriously, are y'all on this call or not? They are not on this call, Elder Key. Uh -huh. God, dog. Hey, I Elder, I just called Joe. It's Audria, and he's actually in a business meeting right now. He said so. I know. That's why he's not on. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, that's why they mentioned Joe. I, 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 I kind of knew ahead of time. Thank you, Audria. Um, and so it's been an amazing opportunity. It's been an amazing ride. It's been more manifestation than anything. Because I prayed for this. I fasted for this. Uh, I've always been looking for, uh a way that we can remove one of the main pain points of, of this journey. And that is the acquisition of, of capital. You know, there's a lot of people on this call that got some money that got great credit. And there's a lot of people on here tore up from the floor, you know what I mean? Got the heart, you know, but they can't acquire the actual capital. And so we have it now. Um, and with that being said, We've been waiting since July. John Wilkes is the person that introduced us to Miss Millie, Veterans Development Group. Thank God for him. And since then, you know, we've had some, we've had an amazing journey. And right, right now we're at the end. And for those of you that been on the call, been on, been with me from day one, uh, you all know on October 2nd, we got the thumbs up. We got to go, the green light that, the uh, funding is here and that um, money is about to roll out, okay? So we got a call on Saturday to that the underwriter said they didn't want to read the whole 48 pages of the business plan. And so we needed to summarize everything and just bring a an executive summary, okay? So this is what we had to do. So I had to actually do mine and here is mine. So my program is called Hold Your Hand and this is what I want all y'all to do. Now, daycare is closed. Daycare is closed. Okay? So I need y'all to take your business plan for those that already have it. If you don't have it, just hold your turn. We, we'll get to your business plan with Miss Millie and all of that. But for everybody that already got your business plan back, I want you to go to your executive summary and I want you to create a two-page summary. Put the amount that you're requesting 
up front. And that's all you have to do. All right. It's all you have to do. So this is it right here. So she requested us to present our top 10. And um, and she's rolling them out at 10 to 20 at a time. Uh, when when that's going to happen, when we get awarded, I don't know. So please don't ask me that. And I'm almost called a name. <laughs> um, but y'all, please don't ask that question. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to repeat that again. I do not know the date that we will actually get funded. I do not know who it is that's that's going to be next. I'm not I'm not privy to that. She requests the names and we give them. And it's according to the time that you came in. So for those that came in late, don't worry. You still will get funded. For those that don't have everything together, don't worry. You still will get funded because I'm letting you know now. If your name comes up and you don't have all your stuff together, we will take our time to make sure that your project, your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Ain't no child left behind, y'all. Hello. So we're not going to leave you in the dust. You will not be denied. You will always get your funding. Okay? But if, you know, uh, if you've been waiting all this time and you still ain't did nothing, pity you. That's all I got to say. Pity you. Because you're about to get millions and millions of dollars and you have not seen the, in, the vision enough to say, let me get on this. This is going to change my life. Come on, man. You know, come on. All right. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to open the floor up. But this is it right here, y'all. This is mine. I'm requesting $20 million. Um, I would get, like everybody, if you're under $50 million, you would get 10% of your first draw you would get approximately three to six draws. It all depends on the funding. It all depends on uh, your project also. All right, so if you need clarity on that, I I'll go over that with you. If I'm gonna open this up with questions and answers. But this is it. This is what you have to do. You have to create, uh, take your executive summary, Take your logo, place it wherever you want to place it, format it the way you want to format it, and this is how you present it, okay? And don't send it to me. Don't send it to Diamond. Don't send it to Miss Millie. Wait until you get a call from Joe or from Diamond or me because they're going to probably contact us and say, hey, send X, Y, Z. But Joe's the one in charge of this anyway. So that's the one that you'll probably get a call from. All right. So let me read this. So substance abuse use. So I'm doing a drug treatment program. I'm doing a full-fledged residential treatment program with detox, with uh, sober living housing, with outpatient services and all of that. I'm going to be in four states, but I'm starting out in one state in California first. All right. Now I'm actually from South Florida. But I'm going to do a program here. I'm going to put it like this. The, the best opportunity that shows up, that's where I'm going to open up at. Okay, because I'm still in, in the process of looking for property right now. And if there's any realtors on, on the line, just hit me up later on. If you're in California, you're in, you're in uh, Florida, hit me up later on and, uh, you know, send me some properties, man. I need million dollar properties because I'm doing luxury rehabs. I'm doing luxury homes. Okay, luxury program. All right. Now, this is it right here. I'm not going to read all of this. But at the end of the day, uh, this is the executive summary right here. Now, this is my information, my personal information. Keith Hilm is the president of Hold Your Hand, Inc. He's been in addiction recovery field for 20 years. He'll be in charge of the management and operation of the organization with a host of other experienced pro professionals in the industry. We will ensure that research is always carried out to know how we can improve our lives and that and that of our clients and work with them to bring out the best in them. We'll be loyal to our clients and be a shoulder to cry on whenever they need help. Okay, so that's that's it. That's the gist of mine right there. And this is all they need right here. 
Okay, again, we've already been pre-approved. They already know what we're doing. They already know that we have already been able to um, create over 4,000 beds through our programs uh, all over the country. And so this is one of the main reasons why our program was picked and chosen to actually qualify for these fundings. Okay, so I'm opening up for any questions. Hello. Hello, Keith. It's Beverly. All right. Come on, Beverly. <laughs> um, so I, I actually I had spoke with Miss Millie and she told me about, <laughs> you know, I love her. I love her. <laughs> I do. Um, yeah, so should because she told you what to do. You know, huh? She told you what to do. She did. She did. But now after looking at yours, she should I add in like I have my executive summary that's off of the business plan and I've adjusted it accordingly to what's happening now. But should I add like the mission statement as well? Because it's like complementary to it. And I feel like that's kind of what yours is. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. Okay. All right. Thank you. To yeah. me, that's a choice. All right. Thank you. That's it. All right. And uh, I wanted Joe to be on because um, and thank you, uh, Ms. Prescott, for that information, for that text. Uh, Joe said that, and y'all know, if y'all know me, man, I'm I'm transparent. Like I don't hide anything. I what I don't do is I don't disclose a lot of information. That's that's not that's something I'm not going to do. But what I am going to do is I'm going to be very transparent and be honest about this this approach. Hold on one second. Hello. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, and be very uh honest about it. So because some things that you guys need to know. All right, so she did send us a template of one uh, executive summary or one program, one project, not from us though, but one project that had gotten approved, that got the award letter. And I said, well, why did she send it so late? And I even told her, I said, well, Ms. Manley, why are you sending it to us so late? She said, because that's what the underwriter gave me. Like, I don't really know you know what I mean? Like I'm not in the back office with them uh, and all of that. So they that's what they gave me. And that's what they told me. And I think that's a real inside thing there. I think that's wonderful. If you've been in this space of getting grants and applying for grant in this grant world, uh, I can tell you now, man, you rarely would ever get to know what the criteria is from that, that foundation that underwriter, you rarely would know. They would just either award you or don't award you and you would never know why you lost, why you didn't get it, why you didn't get awarded, you know? So I think it's a beautiful thing that we got a, a inside a, uh, inside the the, the, the the organization that can let us know that. All right, so any more questions? So to Keith, you said yes. that, uh, this is uh, Kat, you said that the... Um, Cat, where you from and what's the name of your organization? Oh, I'm sorry. Connecticut, Tomcats, please. Okay, cool. So you said that the business plan was too long. Did you just want an executive summary? Yeah, that's what she's requesting. You know, how many pages those business plans are? 26, 46 pages? Yeah, they're like 39. Yeah. So that so the underwriter don't want to read all of that. They so in other words, the underwriter is saying, okay, we already kind of like know that your projects fit what we're doing. We don't want all of that. Just tell them to just sum it up in the two pages. Okay. All right. So that means just take your, the meat, your executive summary, because it kind of explains what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And then once they get that and you get your award letter, then they're going to request the business plan. Okay. So they'll know exactly the breakdown of your numbers and everything. All right. Hey, Andrea, how you doing? I'm mute. I'm good, Pastor Keith. I'm how here. Get, I'm here getting information. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm glad you was able to make it. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. So that's pretty much it. 
Y'all see these numbers? 20 million. Come on, man. Come on, man. Instant millionaires. Ooh, that's a that's a that's one of them right there. Come on, man. Listen, let me say this. Let me say this emphatically. Um, for most of us, we we would never see a million dollars working on a job our whole life. And if it takes a year to get a million dollars, that'll be okay, won't it? Yeah. If it takes five more months for new people, if it takes 18 months for the old people, that'll be all right, won't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, so we it will be content. Paul said, be content in all things. You know what I mean? So we here, y'all. I'm letting you know. I can't wait to say how you like me now. I see, I'm serious. I can't wait. And if y'all get that email with the headline that say how you like me now, y'all know I'm ching ching, right? Because I'm going to give God glory, man. I'm going to testify that when everything looked bleak and bad, I still was faithful and I held on. You know? So let's talk about the technical uh, part about this. Let's talk about some technical stuff. All right. One thing that I do know is that I can't really open up my screen, man, and my computer. And I'm so sad about that. But I wanted to, I wanted to go over the detailed summary. And I wanted to break that down. And the detailed summary is actually explaining or breaking down your project. Constance Coogans, are you are you here today? Yes, sir. Are, okay. Um, RG3, are you here tonight? I'm here, Elder Case. How you doing? Okay, great. So uh Constance, me and her did a refresher on her program description, right, Constance, the other day? Yes, sir. And so she had some questions about how it should flow. And RG3, uh he did a wonderful presentation on his program description. He did, he had the whole floor for, for 40 minutes and he gave us a detailed breakdown on how that looks. And because I can't open up my screen, uh, RG, can I ask you to open up yours and kind of show yours? Sure. Actually, <clears throat> let me let you I did an executive, Joe called me and I did an, an executive summary. So I can actually show you my executive summary if you like. Sure. Let me, uh, let me allow you to do this. All right. Let me, open uh, it am I the host? sir, I am the host and he has the ability to share his screen. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let me open up my executive summary. Give me one moment. Oh, so you was one of the ones got picked, huh? What's going okay. on, man? It is open. All right, it uh share screen. There you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So Joe had called me and asked to uh, create this executive summary. So what I wa uh, wanted to do was I felt that two pages wasn't going to be enough because my experience with executive summary, you have to hit them hard and hit them quick, but as much information, but not overwhelm them. I say that um, to say this, make sure that you, you title what it is, you name your organization, your address. You guys spend a whole lot of money, either have a brick and mortar address or a virtual ad address. Make sure it is included because this is probably some of the things that the underwriter is going to ask for, which is was stated earlier before. 
your website, your fo- your phone number, and your contact information. Not a Hold Gmail. On one, stop right there. One second. No Gmail accounts, y'all. Correct. That's a, yeah, you, not, no you Gmail. You have to have a professional address, phone number, and a professional uh, uh, email address attached to that. That, if you uh, go on GoDaddy.com, you can get them anywhere from five to seven dollars. So, definitely no excuse. Okay. Uh, going for, for further, yes, executive sir. summary: who we are, what we're about, what I'm planning to do, and just like what Elder Keith was saying, make sure that you highlight exactly how much you're asking. Because if you have an executive summary and you add all of this stuff, and you don't want the underwriters to keep guessing. I used to do mortgages back in the days. And the last thing you want to do is constantly piecemeal stuff to an underwriter. They get very frustrated. So make sure you have all of this information in it. And again, guys, all of this information uh, uh, is in your business plan. You just have to cut and paste and put them into a, uh, a smaller or concise summary. And that's what I did. So the executive summary, who we're about, what the studies show, our mission, our vision, my business objectives, my fin- and I restated my financial obligations. So they're very much aware, you know, how much I'm asking. And just as a carrot, I let them know that I'm working with K-Bar Construction uh, and we already signed a contract. And that's pretty much for your executive summary. Also, I added what the products and services the description are. What project number one is, a brief summary. What project number two is, a brief summary. That's it, guys. And that came out of also your um, program description too. Absolutely, absolutely. Can you go to your program description? Yep. Thank you. So this is the, the uh, customer summary sheet that you access. This is what you're asking for? Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. So again, this is exactly, as Elder Keith was said, I pulled this information straight from the, the summary. Now, With can you local, tell everybody what, what is the scope of your, of your project? What are you doing? So the scope of my project is that we're looking for affordable housing for 55 uh, plus communities. And we're also going to give uh, subsidies for veteran housing as well. So we're actually, our first, what we wanted to do was find a site and build a multifamily, but that site is not available. So what we did was we reassess, okay, what is the actual need that we're looking for? Uh, We spoke to the director of community development in Baltimore County, and she stated that there is a desperate need for either multifamily for 55 plus or duplexes. So we decided that that's the what we're going to do. So we're going to actually try and build at least close to 30 duplexes or have a multifamily unit of 25 to 30 um, units. And that's, again, it's going to be focused on 55 plus community. Project number two is going to be located in Fort Pierce, Florida, where we're actually going to look for at least five to 10 acres and we're gonna build about 20 to 25 uh, townhouses, averaging anywhere from 1,700 square feet. And it's going to be built for affordable housing as well. Awesome, 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 awesome. So all of us are doing different things and we got different niches, but go ahead, go ahead. Right, so uh, with the project summary, I also stated the, the current project status, what we're looking for. I stated that I'm working with K-Bar Construction um, and what I need um, in order to make the project move forward. I also put in there about the promoter and the history of a background. And John Wilkes is my business partner. So I uh, did, get a, did a blurb about for him, just uh, see what he's about. And also I did a blurb for me as well, because they want to know who they're giving the money to and what are you going to do with this money? That's basically what they want to find out. So as you can put as much information as possible without sounding too wordy, this is your place to shine. So everybody knows what the uh, an elevator pitch is. If they have a product, this is your elevator pitch. And that's 
this is, uh, I took this information again, and I also put it in executive, uh, without this, they didn't, they don't need to know that your, your partner is 50% of what it is, but I did pull some of this information and put it in the executive summary. So if anybody needs any help, you know, they can give me a call. I can work with them, tell them what I did. Like I said, I already sent this information to Joe. He called me back on Monday. He said um, it was very good and excellent. I didn't need to make any changes. Does anyone okay. have any questions? Can you go over the, the, um, the timeline uh, as far as the uh, disbursement and what that looks like? Sure. So I have it broken down into phases. So my phase one is going to be acquisition of land and development is going to take about uh, two months. And the reason why I say two months is looking at the land, making sure that it's viable, doing a feasib feasibility test. I'm going to need about four million for that. Um, the, to procure the construction company and the legal um, accounting firm, it, you definitely got to make sure you have an accounting firm in place, which was discussed last week. Also, a real estate attorney. You got to make sure that you have those two. We definitely have enough money to hire those um, people, and they'll work with you without getting a. Uh, some people will work with you without requiring a retainer up front if they know that what you're doing is legit. My attorney, I just told him what I'm doing, and he's actually working with me and then once I receive the money then I'll pay him what he is asking. Uh, phase three is obtaining the license to start build. You got to pull permits. You got to make sure that uh, everything is going to be up to code. Again, this is the time that you're speaking going back and forth with the county or the city to make sure that your project is going to be viable. And then once I start the project, I'm going to need about 20 million for that. Phase four will be the uh, complete um, build out, hiring of the property management, the staff, marketing, mix, gathering the, the information so that people know that you're out there. Phase five will be the final walkthrough, final approvals, the sign off. This is where once it's built, yeah, everybody's gonna sign off, make sure that the county um, has a use of occupancy for those who are having single homes. And then you go. And I'm requesting 35 mil to do that for the two projects. Okay. Awesome. Not a problem. Any questions so far? And as stated before, this is just a breakdown uh, and I've uh, ran this with Joe of, of what my breakdown is gonna be. Again, a lot of people are doing different projects. But again, the cost and land of development is gonna be about two land improvements. Is there a structure that you have to uh, tear down? Do, is there environmental issues that you have to be aware of? The building and fixtures, you know, there's going to be, if you're building from the ground up, you know, there's gonna be trusses, there's going to be concrete, wood, things like that, dirt, um, civil works. Is what you're building or what you're doing going to uh, be up to code? pulling permits, working capital. It's all detail here. And and what I did um, to get this information, I was driving around um, DC uh, one day and I saw them putting up a 55 plus community. I went, stopped, um, spoke to the property manager, uh, not property manager, the general contractor and I said, hey, I'm interested in doing something like this. Um, can you give me a breakdown of what I should be doing? And he wrote down on a piece of paper, all of this information that I needed. And I just filled in all the information with what it costs. There you go. I remember that conversation. I remember you. Yep. <laughs> I yep. remember that. Smart. Yeah. Okay. He cool. even wanted to give me a performer, which, you know, I, I still have that performer. So I'm just going to use that whenever uh, we start building. So it, you know, it was the grace of God that I met that uh, person. Well, that's what happens when you step out on faith. Yep. When you start literally going out there, doing it, you know. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Shower. No Shower, are you there with me? Are you with us? Shower. Um, Shara took a bio break, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Therese, you don't know where my pitch deck is, do you? 
that she I'm created sorry? for me. The... Can you text her, tell her, can she come back on for a second? Okay, sir. Hold on, All right. sir. All right. Thank you all so much. Wow, this is probably the shortest meeting we had. Because nobody got no questions. Anybody got any questions? Hi, Elder. Good, up. good evening. Hey, I would, good evening. I would like to know if um, RG3 wouldn't mind sharing his information with me. I would like to reach out to him. Sure. I'm putting my email in and phone number in the chat right now. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so who got the email that I sent out this morning? Last night, rather. Who got the email? <laughs> See, a couple of people literally that that's already in the funding literally filled out the form. <laughs> that wasn't for y'all. All right, so Miss oh Millie, God. Ms. Millie contacted me and told me that uh, she has about 20 slots open. She has another funding opportunity for that particular group, the new group. And so if you guys are interested, the new ones, if you're interested in joining us, uh, you can come on in. This is probably one of the greater opportunities. And realistically, you probably mm -hmm. have to yeah, your funding until about, you're going to need about six to nine months before you see your funding. Okay. I'm, I'm interested in the, uh and join in okay. um i'm new okay cool give me one sec hey hey shaw <laughs> yeah you remember the pitch that you did for the um the program yeah the drug and alcohol yeah the drug and alcohol program oh you driving don't worry about it no 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 uh-uh don't worry about it we good don't worry don't worry no, no, that's okay. You're welcome. All right. Uh, um, so make sure you uh put who that who that was said that they wanted to join. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I was uh saying that I'm interested. Um I've been What's on a name? few meetings. My name's Chester. Oh, Chester, yeah. I've seen you. Yeah, I've been I've been on a few meetings, but I just, I, I really don't know how to um, be active. Okay. What's your phone number? 602-686-3662. Mississippi? No, I'm in Phoenix. Oh, okay. All right. Phoenix, Arizona? Yeah. All right, cool. You know, there's a Phoenix, California. Yeah, there's a Phoenix, Oregon, too. A Phoenix, Oregon, too. Yeah, yeah. That's why I had to specify. All right, Hello. cool. Hello, Elder King. My team will reach out to you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Sandra Grano. Yes, please. Um, I lost the thread. I, I got disconnected. I lost the thread. So wondering if... um. LG could uh, reshare his uh, contact. Okay. Uh, it's in the chat box. You lost the chat? Yes, yes, I did. Not a problem. I'll share it again. It's in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Keisha Horton, Debbie Gibbons, how y'all doing? Oh, Oh, one zero. All right, anybody? Anybody yes. else? Uh, Five, yes. Nine, Hi, Keith. It's Journey Noelis. Hey, Journey. Oh, Journey. Yeah, Maryland Journey. Journey. <laughs> yeah, and remember, I relocated here to Houston, Texas, about a year and a half ago. Yes. I'm not sure if you recall. Yes. Yeah. And I so, yeah, so I've been working out some old. things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been working on some things, and it's been a while since I plugged in, and mm -hmm. I want to be able to resume um, my my goals again. Okay. And I just okay. don't know where to start, because I know you've made a lot of thrives from the last time we connected. Oh, my from God. The first time we connected. It's been amazing. Trust me. Mm -hmm. It's been yeah. a 
It's God is just working. He just answering prayers. I can just tell the energy is so different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's an amazing it's an amazing opportunity we have right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so I just, just want to know how you can help me get get reconnected. And if there's my number, take, take, take my number, take take my cell phone down. Okay. Very cool. Nine five four. Um, hold on. Uh, nine five four. Mm -hmm. Five four nine. Nine three four seven. Everybody, if you need my cell phone, that's my cell phone. Nine five four. 549-9347 is in the chat box. Uh, reach out to me. This window is open for 20 slots. Uh, 10 have already been filled, so there's 10 left. So you guys, come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. And Keith, what exactly is this window, this opportunity that you're speaking of? Okay, so it is a grant opportunity uh, for you to get a minimum of $2 million. That's the minimum you could apply for. Mm -hmm. Uh, but all of us going after 20, 30, 40 million dollars because the whole goal, man, it's trillions of dollars uh, available. We've already been approved for 30 billion. I know it sounds unbelievable. I know. I know. I know it sounds too good to be true. I get it. But um, it's real. Okay. It is real. And so we're about to, uh, we've already been uh the money has been set aside and allocated for the first group and the second group so there was a group before us and what i mean by that there there are people out there that are actually let me explain this a lot of big developers utilize trading platforms in order to fund projects so when they building out major major projects like in las vegas and stuff like that they utilize traders to get money to actually build. But with us, this, this opportunity is for humanitarian projects. And so this money has already been allocated through a foundation to fund our projects. And uh and that's where we at. You know what I mean? So it's been it's been a roller coaster journey, I can tell you that, because you know there's been some changes but the money has already left the trading platform into the bank account and it's about to get dispersed. Ah, okay. Okay. And is there like a certain, is there like a certain setup that we, I already have to have in order to be able to qualify for it or? Tony, you're already in my coalition. So you already qualify. Okay. Well, okay. Well, praise God. All right. See, everybody <laughs> here is doing exactly what, everybody is doing housing that's i don't care if it's you know lgbtq i don't care if it's young adults elderly drug treatment most of us are doing addiction treatment services and sober living that's what most of us are doing and halfway housing that's what most of us but we're building we're getting enough money to build out uh for the next five years and to be able to do everything. I'm talking about buy up hotels and convert them into treat, uh, affordable housing complexes. You know, the scope of this thing is so huge. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're giving you an opportunity to get in. So you're just gonna let him take that wagon? You know? And um, it was it was $1,000 for those that came in first it was it was a thousand dollars as a group rate, but the rate because of the fact that it's not a group, it's only about 20, 20 slots. It went back up to fifteen, but it was twenty five hundred. She still dropped it down to fifteen for the latecomers, for the new people that needs this opportunity. You want to get in fifteen hundred dollars plus my coaching fee is thirty nine. Now for those that have already paid for my coaching, no matter what it was at the time that you came in. You don't have to pay that, but the $1,500 is still required to pay to get the grant and to get the coaching and uh, and uh, and to be a part of us, okay? So that's where we're at with that, all right? And if you need a payment plan, let's talk. I mean, come on now. Y'all know I'm going to bend her ear. Y'all know I'm going to make sure. Just get in. That's it. Just get in. Right, Lou? Yep. 
<laughs> then I then I talk to her for you. Yep, you did that. Okay. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> yes. Hello. Hi, this is um Shante with Three Hearts Supportive um uh, Housing. Hey Shante. Hey Elder Keith. <laughs> um, I was wondering, am I am I um in a group? I know we had Even talked about group. it. Yeah. I mean, you know, okay. I was just wondering. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I, y'all late, you know, y'all, like y'all came in, y'all, y'all, you know, you an elite member, you came in kind of late. So uh, I never really talked about it because it really the door had closed, you know, um, but it did open back up. And, um, and every now and then she would call me and tell me I got another funding platform, you know, here's an opportunity for more people to get in. So we closed that door about two weeks ago and I was able to slide about seven people in and uh, we're working on their business plans right now. And I want to kind of set a class to do a group training with all of y'all. That way I can get everybody under one umbrella and everybody pretty. And I, if I have to take four or five hours to get that done, then that's what we got to do. Okay. Um, somebody ha- got their hand up. I don't know okay. who that is. That was me. I'm gonna put it down. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So I have anyone... a question. Yeah, I have a question. This um has nothing to do with this um funny thing. I was just wondering, have you? So heard who are you? Where are you from? Name of your organization. Come on, Toy. Oh, my name is Toy. I'm in Tampa. No enemy inmate relief. Um. Oh. But I was just wondering, have you heard from Dr. Kalu about um, an update on the credentials? I spoke to him um, probably about a week ago on something different, but uh, he's still singing the same thing. Um, so I, w- I would advise you, you know, to request your funds back if you don't get it. You know, I was trying to be as... Um, you know, as lenient as I can. But what happened was somebody went through TSA and told TSA that they are a diplomat from the UN <laughs> and that they demand, you know, that was just kind of demanding and that's that's not the right approach. And so they literally uh, contacted him and the executive director and now the credentials are pretty much on hold. That's what they told me. Okay. But uh, contact him, you know, and, and try to get an update, please. Okay. All right. I know, Antonio. I know. I know you tried to be patient. I know. I know. And uh, I don't know, man. I I tried. I tried to do my best, you know, to help. But I, I can go ahead. Um, my name is Anani. Uh, just getting started um, from uh, Denver, Colorado. So I know with the program, you so saw you said it's thirty nine hundred to join, right? Uh, and right. so, so the fifteen hundred is that. What is that for? And what that's is that a, for like? I just explained that. That's for the funding. That's for the grant. That's in order for you to get what we just showed you the millions of dollars for you to get the grant. That's yeah. what that's for. And that's a third party. Oh, is that to be considered part of the grant or to be able to write the grant? No, the grant will already, the grant, that's to get the grant written for you. That's just a oh. business plan. Okay. But you... Yeah, I, um, uh, Ella Keith, this is John Wilkes from Jara Supportive Housing. Um, yeah. I think what we probably need to do is, is uh, explain to them what that $1,500 is for, that, that it is separate from, from uh, uh, coming into the coalition. The fact that Ms. Millie is preparing and her, and her staff is preparing the grant for them. That's what that $1,500 is for. That, that probably, you know, if you can expound I, on that. I thought that's what I said. Yeah. I thought that's what I said. You did. All 
All right. Any more questions? Yeah, Keith, I have a quick question. Sure. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, Keith? Yeah, I came in late, man. I had a terrible experience with this contractor, man. Listen, I had to go meet another contract out the house, man. It's just been a nightmare with this contract. Yeah, I ended up getting burnt, the contractor. So, if I'm dealing with these contractors out there, you be extremely careful with these contractors. Be yeah. very, very careful. I see so I just I just met another contract out there. Um, he went through the house. A person, a person I know, I feel confident with. So hopefully we can get this thing rolling within a couple, 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 couple days. Okay, that's cool, man. That is good. Now keep in mind, now Jeff, when you get your funding, uh, you deduct that. Whatever okay. you're spending, whatever, okay. whatever your expenses are, you put that in, put that in your invoice. I will. I will. Yeah. Put that in your invoice. Can't put in that headache you just experienced, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could get punitive damage, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me ask you, so when you say put that in the invoice, what you mean put in the invoice? The price I pay for the, the acquisition price in? Everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look, even the mileage. I will. I <laughs> certainly will. <laughs> Trying to tell you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank y'all so much, man. I'm I'm gonna just chime out. Now, anybody got any questions? You know, don't text, you know, get on the call and, and better yet, no, no, no. Uh we we finna chime out. We finna go out. All right. So uh I want to ask everybody, by the way, I got a uh text update. Dr. Kiwi said. Uh oh, the the oh the um the credentials are about to be sent out. Elder Keith, we have one last question. The Zoom okay. name is iPhone. Go ahead, sir. One last question. Keith, I believe that's me. This is Frank from NatCAC Consulting. Good evening, hey, everybody. Man. Hope you're all doing well. A uh, question I have is if we want to put in for that second funding. Uh, are we able to utilize all the existing paperwork that we put in, or is this a whole new rewrite? Uh, this a whole new rewrite. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, but that's that's not for you though. That's not for you. Okay. Just figured I'd ask. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you already got a relationship with her. So if you want to do a different project, contact her. No, no problem. Okay. You answered yeah. my question. Thank you, everybody Mr. else. Good luck and keep the faith. That's Mr. Frank, y'all. Not Frank. That's Mr. Frank. That's Beverly's oh, dad. <laughs> oh, don't oh. give me away. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I don't so admit much. to that. <laughs> All right. Any more, any more questions? Hi, Elder. This is Keisha from hey, Dallas. Keisha. How you doing? I just wanted to, I'm doing all right. I just wanted to say hello. I was trying to navigate through the phone so I can get back to you. Thank you so much, Queen. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're doing okay. Yes. Uh, you wanna you one of my uh early, early, early way back students, man. I appreciate <laughs> you. And um I'm always keeping you in prayer. You know that. Yes, thank you, Elder. Thank you. All right. Hi, okay. Elder. Hey. This is Martin, Room to Grow, Supportive Housing with Debbie. Hey. Uh, thank for Jeff. If if he's having a problem with that contractor, I do know a way he can probably do a 1099 on him and turn him into the IRS and he might get, you know, some some type of remedy that way instead of just walking away feeling like he got burned. Yeah, yeah. So all right, y'all hear that, man. That's what I love about this group, man. We always got somebody that got a solution. We always you know? looking out for each other's back. Yeah, man. It's so amazing, man. Who that is? Who said that? Debbie. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> hey, Keith. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm exactly, good. Exactly, because we don't want to see Jeff just walk away like somebody that robbed him. No, he has a remedy. Yeah. Yeah, if he has the guy's information, anybody that you pay over six hundred dollars, you can report them to the IRS to show where the money went. Amen. Yeah, I would love to get that information. I definitely appreciate that. I'm, Absolutely. I'm putting a phone number in there for you right now. Okay, wait a minute. I'm putting it in the chat. Yeah, and write it down and we'll help okay. you out. 
You put I'll give you my number direct. Um, yeah, if you want to call and talk about it, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of information. No one has seen no. I, I had a couple of friends recently around here too. Um, actually, my friend in in Atlanta that's a well off homeboy building a subcontract a subdivision. He had the same same issue with two contractors. Um, but I, I know he definitely 1099 those guys. And uh, once you do a UCC1 filing and you're 1099, that triggers the IRS to audit the contractor. And trust me, he's he's going to have to report where that money came he's from. He's going to have to do something. Yeah, because you I, I don't see you. What, what is your name? I don't see your name in the chat. Uh, I just put D. It's DG, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie and Martin. There okay. you go. Gibbons, it's 310. I got it. 56, yeah. Uh, six, one, zero, five, zero, one. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, yeah, as long as it's matter. over six hundred dollars in the calendar year, you can report it. You can report it. Now, it's it's a lot stronger standings if you like are doing it through your trust. But even as a private person getting burned, uh, worst case scenario, you'll you'll just send the IRS after them. You may may not get remedy, but if you had a a, a trust. It just has stronger legs to stand on. But yeah. he definitely won't walk away getting uh, unscathed when you trigger that 1099 to the IRS or your UCC filing. Yeah, but what what type of information would I need of his? His name and, you know. Yeah, it, yeah, you got. yeah, didn't he have a, a contractor's number license? No, I don't know whether he's licensed or not. You can find that stuff out, though. Right. If you got his name, we probably can do a search and see what we can find out. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. No Bye. worries. Thank All you, right. Elder. Thanks, Elder. Thank you. All All right. Elder, um, it's, it's Beverly again from that cat. Hey, I just hey. want to let everybody know. I feel like I had to factory reset my phone. So all the numbers that were not stored in the stinking iCloud were just saved on the device i lost everybody's names so i have all these phone numbers and text messages but i don't know who some of the people are so if you guys have tried to reach out to me for anything could you just say who it is because i've been real weary about engaging in some conversation not knowing if i was talking to the actual people that i thought i was talking to so just so everybody knows <laughs> okay all right thank you you're welcome john wilkes can you please pray us out Yes, I, yes, glad to. Yes. Thank you. Um, Father God, we want to thank you for this time you've given us, Lord, to come together and, and to hash out these, uh, all these intricacies, oh, Father God, that we'll, we will need to receive these funds, Father God. Lord, let us not forget, Father, that it is for your honor and glory, Father God, and that we are stewards, Father God. We're not spenders, but we are stewards. And so, Father, we just thank you for, for uh, giving us the wisdom, uh, the knowledge to use these funds uh, in the right way, Father God. We thank you for our leadership, oh God. We thank you for, for Elder Keith and what you uh, put in him, oh God. We ask that we continue to undergird him, uh, Father God, and ask that you bless him and his family, Father, and the coalition on the whole, Father God. We thank you and we praise you. Release us now, Father, and watch over us, we pray because we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God bless y'all. And we will see y'all next week. We're going to keep this momentum going until the funding comes because I really want us to have our, our ducks lined up. I want our I's to be dotted, our T's to be crossed. And so I think we should uh, continually do our trainings on every Tuesday. All right? Is there, if there's any... You know, um, emergencies come up. I'm gonna let y'all know ahead of time. Elakit, Elakit. Yes, Sebastian. Yeah. Can I call you uh, immediately after the Zoom? Quick question, if you don't mind. After the Zoom, okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. See y'all later. God bless. God bless.